When I was nine months old, I was adopted because both my parents went to prison. I heard that my mom would lure kids in from playgrounds and bring them back to the house. I heard that she would drug them and then she would record them as my dad was having sex with them. Don't know if it's true. I don't know if I will ever know it's true or not. She's labeled as a sex offender. She must have done something for that title. She refuses to answer any questions that I have about it. She keeps playing victim pretty much as I see. I obviously have my own questions because of this. Four years ago, she told me that the man that's in prison possibly could not be my dad and it could be somebody else, which is why I don't trust her, obviously, because she has lied in the past to me. So today, I have three main questions for her. And if she lies about any one of them, then I absolutely want nothing to do with her. Um, Casey, tell me about being adopted. So I was adopted when I was nine months and it was an open adoption. So I've pretty much always known that this lady that adopted me and my birth grandpa, that obviously like they weren't my real parents. And then around like 12, I found papers that was saying how my mom and dad got in trouble for child pornography and for molesting children like aggressively. So obviously that like threw questions in and then obviously- And you saw these in newspaper articles? Yeah, they were like in paperwork so that the lady that adopted me And when you had. read this at 12, it's gotta be a little confusing to you, but yeah. it's also gotta be very shocking. Yeah, like obviously at the time I didn't even know like what pornography was. So right. obviously I right. didn't know like how serious it was. Well, like my grandpa, he always, he's my biological grandpa, he's, my biggest supporter, he passed away in 2015. He pretty much like was the one that raised me and took care of me and I was in and out of foster care and he was always my main support group. So uh, once my mom got out of jail, she wound up connecting with me and we had like minimal conversation. Like obviously she told me she was out of jail. Like, oh, so you didn't see her, you just talked to her yeah, on the phone? Yeah, I've never seen her, never met her, nothing. So today's Since like the first time. Since you were nine time. months old. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she would like tell me stories and stuff and like obviously like I could catch on to stories that were like changing. So I always like had the mindset that like something wasn't true. Obviously like you're going to jail for a long time. You're not telling me like why. So then she told me that I possibly could like have a different dad. So again, that brought up the whole question of where are you lying to me? Where are you not lying to me? Obviously like that made me wonder like if the guy in jail was my dad and then what else? And he's still in jail, right? Yeah, he's still in prison. So then that brought up to like last year when we were originally gonna come on the show and like we had everything like set up and then all of a sudden she didn't want to come out here. Why didn't she want to come on the show last year? I, it's the fact she didn't want to be humiliated and I possibly would think that's something that she's told me is a lie about having like sexual relationships with my grandpa. She said and that she slept with your grandfather. Yeah, she said she was forced to sleep with my grandpa. But you said he's was nothing but wonderful to you, right? Yeah, like I, growing up, he literally was my world. Like him dying probably, I've been through a lot, but that probably is one of the hardest things that I've ever had to deal with was losing him. Hi Casey, I'm your mother. I love you. I'm here to put the rumors to rest about me kidnapping you, stealing you, molesting you, letting a man molest you. I just want you to know that I've wanted you in my life. I tried, and when I couldn't have you there, I put a wall up where I didn't have to think about it anymore. I'm here today to put this to rest, to ease your mind, and I just want you to know that I love you with all my heart. I haven't seen her since she was nine months old, Steve. Um, I was incarcerated. I tried to call her every other week, and when she started learning words, I was telling her that Mama loves her. She said, I love you, Ma. 
um, like I said, I wanted to raise you. I wanted you in my life. But then why were you doing that stuff when you were pregnant with me? You were obviously, like, I know you can say you were forced to do it, my dad forced you to do it, but how can you do that? You have a baby growing inside you. The grandfather was the best person in her life. Why would you tell her that about her grandfather, knowing that he's dead and can't, uh, you know, say, oh, this is true, defend himself? Because Steve, back then, I was still immature. I was hurt. This was last year. Okay. Still, so I don't care. Uh, so, I but had... here, here's where I have to interject. It's very unfair for you to pick and choose what you want to talk about. So, Nine so, ten, so 10 months out of 21 years. Yeah. 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 Um, you sought her out, right? What do you mean? Since you've been out of prison. Yes, 15 years old. And you want a relationship yes, with her. Yes, I do. Isn't she entitled to answers, even as painful it might be for you? What do you want to ask? What do you want to ask? Ask I want to know everything. I want to know again. how you could do that when you're pregnant with me. How can you say you love me? How did you're I do doing all this when mess I was pregnant with you? How did I do Why did you go to jail, man? I went to jail for... Okay, since you want to bring this out on me in TV, and I love you, and it's my past, I will do anything. Kayla, to show you I love you. I went to jail for aiding and abetting on a child molestation charge, and I got charged with a child molestation charge. But that was way back then. My life has changed since then. Everybody something. makes mistakes, and, and I made mine. But <laughs> raping a child, that's not a mistake. I did it. I did it right. Did right. the police find the evidence on the computer? I have no idea. I don't. You I don't have mess no with idea. Computer. No. You spent 13 years in jail. But I didn't mess with the computer. I don't. I understand that. But when you were going to court and they were talking about it and evidence was being introduced, didn't you say, "Hold"? No. Um, I'm gonna tell you straight up. My attorney told me that I wouldn't have been going to jail if my face hadn't have been on a videotape. Exactly. Yeah, but your face was on the videotape. Yeah, I messed up and Xanaxed down my mind. Right, and while your ex was raping little girls. You know what, I, I'm done with this. I didn't come here to discuss this. Kayla, I love you. I came here to answer your questions. Those are my I, questions. No, no, those are not your how questions. How are those not my questions? Of course I want to know your how you can questions. rape a child while you're pregnant with me. I'm, what, what I are, didn't rape so a child what, when I was pregnant you with helped. you. I don't know who you told helped. you that. Okay, Nate, uh, we're going to move along here. Okay. And you took a lie detector test for yes, kidnapping and molestation. Yes, I did. To her. Um, we asked you, did you kidnap Casey from her biological family? You answered no. You told the truth. Um, and then as far as sexual molestation goes, did you ever have physical contact with Casey for your own sexual gratification or pleasure? You answered no. Did you ever allow any males to have sexual activity with Casey? You answered no. You told the truth, both those questions. Um, okay. I was nearly 50 years old and um, Casey came into our lives and it's been such a blessing. Casey's actually doing really great now, and I'm so proud of her for what she's gone through in her past. And she is actually enrolled in nursing school. She's doing great. There was a time when she was about 16 years old that May did uh, try contacting her directly. And it's my understanding as a condition of her parole that she was a registered sex offender and not allowed at all to contact children. So I did have to go to my local police department and they did get involved and contacted May and asked her not to do it. So uh, there was no contact until she turned 18, um, as the police had asked her to do. And when she turned 18, uh, May did contact her and want to have a relationship. And at that point, Casey still wasn't ready. So one of the main reasons that Casey contacted the show was we had a lot of questions and Casey had unanswered questions 
And one of the major concerns Casey has, she's not sure that she's related to May, and she has no idea who her biological father is. So before Casey would want any type of a relationship or to move forward, she wants the questions answered and she wants the results of the maternity test at some point. You know, she's heard two sides of the story and she really, really just needs closure so she can put this one to rest finally and uh, decide what she wants to do moving forward. It's my opinion that if May fails any of the questions on the polygraph test, that Casey will not want any type of relationship with her now or ever in the future. Really? You're gonna walk away from a daughter that you have been out of her life for 20 years and that's it. I'm done. That's, that's a real fight there. That's trying to make amends to a woman that you brought into the world I'm done. and now you're leaving. This is not what I came here for. Uh, you don't want to come out for the DNA results to prove that she's your biological daughter? May took a lie detector test concerning your grandfather. And we asked her, did you ever have sexual intercourse with Casey's grandfather? And she said yes, and she told the truth. She had sexual intercourse with your grandfather. We asked you, when you had sexual intercourse with Casey's grandfather, were you too impaired to consent? Yes. And she said yes. Was the sexual intercourse you had with Casey's grandfather consensual? She said no. And to those two questions, May, you didn't tell the truth. You are such a dumb bitch. I hope you rot. I literally hope you rot. I think everyone is trash that brings their kids around you, just like you. <laughs> I'm done. Steve, I didn't so lie. What I, so what I didn't lie okay. on that. Well, but what I don't understand, why do you even bring this up when the I sex didn't, was? I didn't bring it up. She did. But did it, you just say you didn't lie. Did. How the yeah. do you not lie? I didn't lie. Ooh, I uh, hate you. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I'm not going to touch her back. Okay. I'm not going to touch her back. Okay. I'm not going to touch her back. Okay. I know I, what happened. I apologize. I apologize. It's all right. I, I know what happened. Okay. I did not. I know what happened. No. Okay. I asked him to explain it to me. Okay. Okay. And what I understood it was that it was rape. No. Okay. So when you maybe had, I says, misunderstood were you, the question. It says you weren't impaired, that you were able to give consent, mm -hmm. and the sex was consensual between you and this grandfather. But it wasn't. You passed every other question yes. on the test. Yes. For did you molest her? Yes. Did you, you know? You passed all that. Yes. Did you steal her? No. You passed it. Right, you passed it. Did you have sex with the grandfather? Yes. You passed. Yes. Was it consensual? And did he rape you? You say, oh, yes. he raped me. It was, you know, it was this, it was that. No, you failed those questions. Okay, so well, what's that's the fine. preponderance that's of the fine, evidence? Steve. You had consensual sex with this man. Well, if that's what it was, that's what it was. Why would I'm you tell sorry. me he raped you? Why would you say that? I'll um, tell you what. You just go your way. Don't worry about talking to me I don't want anymore. you in my life. DNA results? Around my kids, around anything. That's fine. DNA results? Uh, May, you are Casey's mother. That's a disappointment. She got her thrill today to find out what a liar you are. And you and your ex got thrills of raping little girls. No. no that was your thrill. No, Steve. No. Oh, that's right. You don't remember. Vodka and Xanax. <laughs> but you remembered old Grandpa. All right. Okay. I love you all. Good talking to you, Steve. Good don't seeing you, Kayla. Hey, you, hey, you know I what? I don't care if hey, you love hey, me or not. May. I don't Steve. care either. I don't love hey, you. Hey. You don't love me. You don't know me. Anything else you want to say? No. Hey, May. Stage. Get the hey, That's, that's a bad stain from your past. Mm -hmm. Not your stain, their stain. Right. Um, and she's never gonna be open and honest with you. That's how some people just are. Uh, you seem like you got a lot going for you. You're in college, you're gonna be a nurse, congratulations. Focus on that, <laughs> leave that behind. Good luck to you. Thank Very you. nice meeting you. Thank you. Click here to watch more Wilco's 
Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.